okay next session hello everyone next section we are going to discuss about the pipeline project okay last session we have seen that okay what is freestyle project now we will discuss what is pipeline project in jenkins if you install the pipeline plugin okay you will enable the option called pipeline project okay here you can code using groovy you will be having two option in the pipeline project one is uh, scripted pipeline and second is declarative pipeline initially when the concept has come it was a scripted pipeline only a scripted pipeline and declarative pipeline there is a lot of difference between them okay starting from the syntax first difference between both the pipeline is the syntax a scripted pipeline will start always with the node okay with the breaches declarative pipeline will start with the pipeline syntax this is the first difference second difference when you will configure it uh, you will find that okay declarative pipeline has more defined building blocks defined building blocks compared to scripted pipeline okay when i say building blocks under the pipeline section you will have the option to define agent you will have some to define the stages under stages you have the option to define stage step like that the options are available compared to duplicative pi scripted pipeline you only have the option stage under that you can write the groovy syntax both of these pipelines support groovy but scripted is tightly integrated with groovy because lot of things and logic you need to write using groovy declarative pipeline groovy you can write it you will have to use the script block okay there you can write the groovy syntax then this is the major difference between the syntax side now coming to the second point what is the difference between both the pipeline is when you create the pipeline scripted pipeline uh, if you define suppose three stage in the scripted pipeline if you define three stages like stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 okay now when you run the pipeline uh, you will not have the option to restart from any stage to restart from any stage means suppose i build the pipeline i have trigger on build now okay once the pipeline is completed now i want to only start from the stage 2 or stage 3 that option is not available in case of scripted pipeline when it comes to declarative pipeline same syntax will be there you will be having stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 and i trigger on build now after the building after it completed now i want to restart only from the stage 2 that option is available or you want to start from stage 3 that option is available in case of declarative pipeline okay time side scripted pipeline i have observed it takes less time compared to declarative pipeline but in declarative pipeline you have more features more building blocks syntax side it is rich in nature so uh, nowadays lot of people they use the declarative pipeline let's go to the lab and see what is the difference between them okay this is the lab which we are going to do it we will create the pipeline as a job okay scripted pipeline pipeline job we are creating it here in this section we have three levels uh, three stages are there one is uh, stage checkout i'm just doing the print statement echo the second stage is build and third stage is deploy okay this is starting with the node thing so it is a scripted pipeline okay same thing mm. will do with the declarative pipeline same syntax you're not changing it out and you will see check out build and things uh, deploy but here you see that syntax has changed it is starting from pipeline then the agent section is coming where this build activity should run okay so currently we are mentioning agent any it means all the stages will be running um, through master master will able to find it out the appropriate um, master will find it out the appropriate node and run it okay then comes to the uh, can i define the agent on individually on the stage level your answer is yes you can do that thing as well okay let's try the things and see the difference from the syntax side i am creating the scripted pipeline i just control the code go here dashboard and i'll click on new item and i say scripted pipeline okay click on to the pipeline okay press it okay when you come here 
you will see there is an option block is there where you can define the definition pipeline okay here you need to copy and paste the code you can paste the code in ui pipeline script you can copy it into the scm as well so currently we will do the in the ui only i will just paste this code okay and save it and now i will trigger the build now once i do the build now you will observe it it is performing the build activity okay it has failed just see the console output why it is failing it is failing because of uh, some plugin issue let me check it out and let you know okay why it was feeling why like i did the copy paste i have copied some extra line okay now i save it again and do the build now okay and see whether it is feeling and passing okay this time you can see check out build and deploy i click on to the build which is executed you will see replay option is there console output is there but there is no restart from stage option is there okay so first is is printing the checking out then it is printing the java version and third is it is deploying the application now same code i will take it and i will create the uh, i'll create the uh, scripted pipeline and see the difference here so i'll copy and paste this code and create a pipeline job which is declarative pipeline okay let's go to the dashboard new item freestyle pipeline project and i'll give the name declarative pipeline okay and now i press it okay go into the configure go under that pipeline section pipeline script paste your code check it out the syntax it is starting from pipeline agent any stages stage steps and i am pasting the code i just save it and now i take it on to build now same code i am running it and you will see it is taking more time okay compared to uh, what exactly time has taken by scripted pipeline but when you click on to the build you will see restart from stage when you click on that restart from stage you see check out build and deploy suppose i want to start from the build stage so it will only run the build and deploy whatever is coming after build all the stages will be executed check out the stage has not executed if i click on to the build again and restart from the stage and now i want to run it only the deploy stage i can do that thing as well okay it will only run the deploy stage so that is the difference between scripted and declarative pipeline first difference is the syntax second difference is the restart from stage option third is the time taken in the complete end to end automation end to end stages if you observe it in the case of declarative type declarative pipeline it is taking more time compared to the scripted pipeline this is it this is the basic difference and basic type of pipeline syntax which we have created it for scripted and declarative next section we will discuss about the artifacts what is artifacts how we can store the artifacts thank you everyone